What's going on YouTube? This is the Third Rate Duelist, and I'm bringing you guys a Raid Raptor deck profile. This deck is super fun, really competitive, very consistent now with the support that we have. It's a combo heavy deck. It does have weaknesses, you know, like hand traps, especially in the Biru. But anyways, guys, don't let that scare you from playing this deck because it's a super fun and competitive deck to play. But without further ado, let's get into this deck profile. To start things off, we're running three copies of Raider's Wing. This card is also treated as a Raptor card. It's one of our extenders as well. You can special them out to the field by detaching one material from an XYZ monster. We're also playing three copies of Strangle Lane. It's one of our other extenders. Now in this deck profile, guys, we play lots of extenders because we need lots of monsters to make our combos. Strangle Lane here can bring himself out if you control a dark monster. He can also special summon out one Raptor card from your graveyard. We're all playing the old school Vanishing Lanius here. This Red Raptor card, guys, can easily just swarm the field by bringing out more Raptor cards from your hand. And this is not a hard once per turn. Also playing three copies of Memory Card Lanius. You can banish this card from your graveyard to search for a Raptor card and add it to your hand. Playing two copies of Last Tricks just because we can easily use this card to make Ultimate Falcon. For our other Raptor cards, guys, or for the last of our Raptor cards, we're playing the two, I mean, the one copy of Pain Lanius and the one copy of Singing Lanius. These are also just other extenders that we have. These two cards can easily bring themselves out to the field depending on what you have. We're also playing the one copy of Blackwing Zephyrus to Elite because he's that free special summon from the graveyard. And because we're not playing Tribute Lanius, I am playing this card in its place. It's a level 4 to Dark Monster, so it goes really well with the deck. But anyways, if you normal summon, you can special summon out this card from your hand. So once again, just a really cool extender as well. We're also playing the uh, Pendulum Package here. We're playing three copies of Abyss Factor because it's that free special summon. We're also playing three copies of the Supreme Cream Dragon Dark Worm and the One Donut. Because if we have no monsters, guys, and we set this in our pendulum zone, we can set king. Uh, we can set the king gate zero for our other pendulum zone, guys. Then after that, we can pendulum summon monsters between levels one through four. Right, so it just goes really well with the deck because all all the monsters that we play are they're usually level four. They're all dark monsters, so we can easily swarm the field using the the pendulum package here. And honestly, it works really really well with this deck. If you don't like pendulums, guys, I understand. You can also play the time thief package as well. Works just just as good, but honestly, do just prefer the pendulum package. For the last of our monsters, we are playing the one silent boots here because we do play we do play Bardish. And just using boots by sending them to the graveyard, guys, we can add those PK spell cards from um, to our deck, to our field, or to our hand. Going into our spells, guys, we're playing the one rank of magic Sith Force. This is the OG uh, rank up card here. You can turn one level four into a level six, right? What it does is that you can target one of your XYZ monsters. You can special out one card that has two ranks higher from your extra deck. He also has that cool graveyard effect, guys, where he's basically a monster reborn. What you can do is you can banish this card and a Red Raptor card. And you can special summon out one XYZ Raid Raptor card from your deck. I mean, from your graveyard. We're also playing the, the two copies of the Rank of Magic Force here. Just another card that can easily turn your Rank 4s into Rank 8s or Rank 4s into Rank 12s. Just depending on how much cards you have in your graveyard and a targeted monster. We're also playing two copies of the Rank of Magic Launch. This here is the old school PK Rank of Magic Launch card. And we're still going to use it, guys. We're using this card. We're trying to use this card on our opponent's turn just so we can make one of our boss monsters. I'm going to showcase it to you guys how we use it and this card as well in our two card combo after the profile. We're all playing three copies of Lord Darkness guys because we play nothing but Dark Monster. So basically this card just says draw two. And for the last spell card we're playing the one Foolish Burial just so we can send that Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm to the graveyard of the Mimic Lanius to get those searches or those free special summons. And then the only trap card guys that we run is the Phantom Knights of Shade Brigadine or Brigandine, something like that, right? But you can just, uh, if you set this card and if you control no, if you have no traps in your graveyard, guys, you can special summon out this card as a level 4 monster. So it just goes really well with the deck strategy. But that's it for the main deck. Let's get into the extra deck. We are playing two copies of Red Raptor Y Strix. This card is just really good because it, it gets you that free special summon from your deck. And you can, it also allows you to set that rank of card from your deck to your hand, I mean, from your deck to your field. And you can also activate it that turn. We're also playing the one copy of Bardish. I have no idea why this card came off the ban list, but it did. We're going to use it, guys, because it goes really well with this strategy. We're basically just using them to get those rank-up cards from our deck to the field or to our hand. We're playing two copies of Four Streaks because he's easy to make. He's also a, a really good searcher for the deck. He allows you to add that, that level 4 Dark Winged Beast monster from your deck to your hand. We're playing Raider's Knight here, guys. We try to use him to go into our rank 5 place. He's also a really good card to go into the Arc Rebellion XYZ Dragon, which also was released in Phantom Rage. But honestly, he's just a really good extender for the deck as well. But we are playing the one. Uh, we're playing one copy of Evil Swarm Nightmare. This card is just ridiculously good, guys. What it does is that if your opponent special is a monster, you can detach one material and you can flip that monster face down. And it's not a hard one to return, guys. It's a it's a soft one to return. So if he has two materials, you can essentially turn two monsters face down, right? It's just a super broke uh, super broke card. His stats are not that good, but his effect is, and that's why we play him. We're playing the one time different because this card is just super easy to make, and he's also really good. 
We're playing the one copy of Stranger Falcon there. I have no idea what he does. We basically play him because we use Raider's Knight to go into him, and then we rank him up for our rank 7 plays. And then we're playing the one Archer Blood XYZ Dragon because this card can easily LTK your opponent going second. I've seen this card go up to like 15,000 attack, guys. What it does is you can detach one material and it gains the attack of all monsters on the field, right? So if your opponent has a full board, you got a full board. I mean, this card can get extremely powerful, really fast, can LTK your opponent. Also, if he has an XYZ material uh, attached to it when the effect was activated, you can negate all monster effects on the field, right? So it's just a really good card, really good boss monster as well. We'll play two copies right after Arsenal Falcon because this card is just broke. What it does, guys, you can detach one material. You special amount one right after card from your uh, deck and its effects are non negated That's what makes it really good. Also, if it is sent to the graveyard with XYZ material, you can special summon out an XYZ monster from your extra deck and attach Arsenal Falcon to, his, to it as material. And that's how you say how we bring out our ultimate Falcon right there. We're all playing the one right, right after Satellite Cannon Falcon because I'm a huge fan of the anime. And what this card did in the anime was just super explosive. And he's also super explosive when you play him in the game. And whenever he has XYZ summon using the Raptor monster as material, you can destroy all spells and traps your opponent controls. Your opponent cannot um, activate cards in, a, in response to that. And then also once per turn, guys, you can detach one material, target one of your opponent's monsters, and it loses 800 attack for each Raid Raptor monster in your graveyard, right? So he's a really good boss monster. He has that 3,000 attack. He can, he can easily, you know, help you gear those problematic monsters that have that high attack. We're also playing the Ultimate Falcon right here. I think this is one of the best uh, XYZ monsters in the game. He's unaffected by card effects. He has 3,500 attack, guys. And then also during your turn, he's basically like a mini Zexel. Or you can detach one material and your opponent cannot activate cards or effects for the rest of the turn. Also, all, this, all your, your opponent's monsters all lose 1,000 attack, right? So it's just a really good card. Once he hits the field, they, they, I mean, opponents have a really hard time getting through him because he's unaffected by card effects if he has that high attack. It's also a really good card just to kind of sit on him until you get some better cards in your hand or until you draw some better cards as well. Or for the last monster guys that we're playing, we're playing the one duo Don King Kelly Yuga. Also one of the best XYZ monsters in the game, right? Once he hits the field, it's basically game over for your opponent. He has 3,500 attack. He can he can destroy all spells and traps on the field, um, and that's a quick effect as well. But we usually try to make this card in our opponent's turn, guys, because his effect activates whenever he's XYZ summoned. But anyways, with that two card combo, guys, I'm going to show you exactly how we make Kali Yuga and how we're going to show you guys how you know how to win those matches and win those games. So to start things off, guys, you do need the one copy of Vanishing Lanius and the one copy of Mimicry Lanius. If you are playing Tribute Lanius, you can, you can also just go and sub, you know, Tribute from Emory Cry, because uh, Tribute Lanius will actually send this card to the graveyard. What you do is, guys, is you normal summon Vanishing Lanius here, activates effect to bring out Mimicry from your hand, ink summon using both those two cards into your Red Raptor Y Strix. Y Strix effect will activate, guys, unless you special summon that Winged Beast Monster from your deck. Its effects aren't negated, but that's okay. We're going to go and bring out our, our Black Wing Zephyros here. We can now banish Mimicry, guys, from our graveyard. Allows to search for a, a Raid Raptor card added to our hand. You'll search for Strangle Lanius because it's a really cool extender, right? If you control a Dark Monster, you can bring him out from your hand. We'll make our first XYZ summon here and go into Raider's Knight. You can detach one material from Raider's Knight, guys, and line you to go into a Rate 5 play. And also at the same time, setting off Y Strix effect. We're going to go into our Stranger Falcon here. And then we're going to set a rank of card from our deck to our field, so we're going to set the rank of magic skip force there. We'll also activate a targeting stranger falcon to make our first copy of arsenal falcon. Keep in mind guys that this does have a graveyard effect that you can activate on your next turn. We're going to detach one material from arsenal falcon guys, and last to special summon out the raptor card from our deck. We're going to go ahead and bring out our second copy of strangle lanius. We'll activate its effect, guys, because we control an XYZ monster with dark XYZ material. We can bring out one Raptor card from our graveyard. So we'll bring out the Vanishing Lanius. Then we're going to overlay both these two for our Raid Raptor Forestrix. We'll detach one material from Forestrix, guys, and lines to search for a Winged Beast monster and add it to our hand. You're going to want to search for your Raider's Wing now. Alright, so now, guys, at this point, you can actually just go into your Rusty Bardis using Y Strix and Arsenal Falcon. Arsenal Falcon's guide effect will also activate in the graveyard line to special summon out a XYZ monster from your extra deck. And then you can attach Arsenal Falcon to it as, as material. Alright, now at this point you can activate Raider's Wing effect targeting four tricks here. You can detach one material from it to special summon out from your hand. Now we'll activate Bardisha's effect, guys. We're going to go ahead and send Boots to the graveyard so we can set the, the rank of magic launch to our field. 
We can also, well, we'll send it to our graveyard, and we can also banish it from our graveyard, guys, so we can add the other PK rank of magic, um, was it magic force to our hand? All right, so the magic launch is set. We'll activate that on our opponent's turn. We'll go ahead and activate rank of magic force targeting four streaks here. We're going to make our arsenal falcon with it by banishing three material. I mean, three monsters from our graveyard, so we'll banish the Y streaks, the banishing lanius, and the string lanius. I'm not sure I read this card's um, effect during the video, guys, but what it does, if you're unfamiliar with it, is that it says during the main phase, you can banish one or more dark monsters from your graveyard, then target one dark XYZ monster you control. And then special from your extra deck, one, the PK Raid Raptor or XYZ Dragon XYZ monster, whose rank equals that of the targeted monster plus the number of monsters you banished, right? So once again, guys, we banish three monsters, we target a four, you do four plus three, that equals seven. That's how you bring out Arsenal Falcon. We can activate Arsenal's Falcon's effect, guys, detaching one material. <clears throat> we can special summon a Raptor card from our, um, our deck. Sorry about that, guys. My throat's kind of drying up during this video. And now at this point, guys, you can you can you can choose to overlay these two monsters to make your Evil Swarm Nightmare or your Time Thief Redoer, or you can also go ahead and activate the Zephyrus effect in the graveyard. You can bounce the Raiders Wing back to your hand. That way, you can have it for your next turn. And you still got two level four monsters here that so you can make your Evil Swarm Nightmare. <coughs> oh man, my throat's drying up really bad in this video. All right, and that's basically our ending board there, guys. What we have is we have Ultimate Falcon. He was unaffected by card effects. We have Evil Storm Nightmare that can essentially turn two monsters face down. And we got Arsenal Effect with no materials, guys, right? So on our, on our opponent's main phase, you can activate Magic Launch targeting Arsenal Falcon. You can make your dual Don King Kelly Yugo there. And basically just turn your opponent and you can't play Yugo anymore. More likely, he's just going to pass turn, right? So going back into your turn, guys, once again, as I stated before, remember that you have Skip Force in your graveyard there. You can banish Skip Force, banish Ray after Monster. You can bring out an XYZ card from your graveyard. You can bring out Raiders Knight because it's treated as as an XYZ. I mean, as a Raid after Monster, you can bring our Stranger Falcon, your choice, or we'll bring out Stranger Falcon there. So, so, guys, going back to your turn, you're going to have two cards with 3,500 attack. You got Stranger Falcon here that has 2,000 attack. You got your Rusty Bardies with 2,000 attack. Guys, you can easily LTK your opponent. You can also go ahead and uh, detach the material from Ultimate Falcon on your turn. Your opponent cannot activate uh, cards or effects for the rest of the turn. Also, any monster that they control on their field loses 1,000 attack, right? So, it's going to like to make that. That very easy OTK there. But that's it, guys, for my deck profile, my two card combo. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't, guys, subscribe to my channel. If you like what you saw today, guys, hit that like button down below. And just comment down below, guys, with if, with any suggestions or any recommendations you might have for this deck, or maybe you play a little bit differently. You know, go ahead and let me know. Also, if I misplay, guys, let me know as well. Just very nicely, right? Anyways, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you guys liked this video, and we'll see you guys on the next one.